going to do a little tour of Jamaica Beach RV Resort here on Jamaica Beach in uh, Texas. So as we enter the park, we're going to take a ride around. We're going to show you what this place looks like. I don't think this is the main entrance, but um, this is kind of the middle of the park. <clears throat> lots of spots in here. Lots of activities for kids. They've got a fishing lake. They've got a putt-putt golf course. Um, they have an indoor pool and an outdoor pool. I think I came in the back way or something, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, but that's okay. I mean, uh, we can go around this way and then come back around. There are lots of sites in here. I, I don't have a map with me. I brought, I brought them in the house. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But I think there are about maybe 200 sites in here. Are you asking me or telling me? I'm asking. <laughs> I have no idea. I, yeah. And, and as you can see from the camera shots that we're giving you, um, right straight ahead is the dog walk area, big fenced in dog walk area, which is very nice. The streets look like they're all paved concrete. The foliage is not lush because we had a hard freeze here last week. So a lot of these uh, got bit. So they're not looking real healthy right now. I believe the roads are a little bit narrow for me, but they make it, I guess. But I see a lot of uh, tires off the road. But at least they don't have you packed in like sardines. There are a little, there's a little bit of room in between sides with a little grassy area. Not much, but I'd say it's probably about as much as we have where we're parked at uh, Stella Mar. A jackass out there. And one driving this car. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> so this is the back row on the right here, which uh, is not, no hookups, but like overflow parking. this building right here. Looks like an indoor pool, is it? Another one. They, they had one up there. But yep, yeah, that's an indoor pool there yeah. to the right. Yeah, so this is another indoor pool. Apparently they have two because there's one in the front as well. Indoor but that's pool. really nice. It's big and it's all glassed in. Very nice. So over here to the right, I guess, is their rentals, um, like family rentals that you can rent on a daily or a weekly basis. And then they have pickleball court. Just pass them up. More site storage, or I mean more parking for extra vehicles and boats and trailers and things over here. Oops. I guess that's overflow parking to the right out yeah. there. Kids playground off to the left. And um, I think they have a splash pad here, don't they? No, they got a mini golf. Uh -huh. These are cheap seats on the side. Now that's where uh, the Texas y'all, they're in that aisle right back there. But yeah, the streets are all nicely paved. Um, they're not real wide, like Gary said, but but two vehicles could pass on here easily. Now we'll see about that with a golf cart coming. <laughs> yeah. With yeah, there's enough room for us, as my little Jeep and the golf cart. Yeah. No problem. It's got flowers hanging off there. 
and we were here, we toured last week, um, or no, it was actually a couple of weeks ago when we came through, um, just to check to see if they had any availability, and they did not for the yeah. rest of the winter. They told me that if you needed a, wanted to get a site here, make one as soon as you possibly knew because they fill up yeah. every year. Like right now, you need to make a reservation. Right now, this is the last part of December. So if you wanted one for next year, starting in November, you'd have to make it now. pull throughs on the end up here to the right and they the road is right there too like uh, yeah, the highway yeah the so you might get a lot of road noise if you're on this front row here so this is I'm gonna start telling you what the site numbers are now this is the main entrance which we did not come in this way well, we're gonna act like we did yeah now we will and uh, this is the office off to the left. It says, big sign says office. <laughs> and then the, to the right is like the uh, kids playscape and, and mini golf. Nice looking mini golf. Yeah. Fishing pond maybe? I don't yeah. know if it's a fishing pond, but it I, is a pond. Yeah, I think it's a catch and release pond. You gotta walk up the stairs to get to the office. Uh, I was going to see if there was a map there. I'd get one, but there's not. But there is a... You want me to take a photo of the map? No. Okay. There's a fire pit we just passed with the swings that go around it, which is kind of cute. Okay. Well, there's a couple of empty spots here on the end, but uh, according to them, they have no openings right now, so. Overall, it's a pretty nice park. I, I, I believe it's a little tight myself. Yeah, well, like this one here, this bus, it takes up that whole area there. He can barely get his truck parked on there. So some of them are longer and wider than others. They got a food truck too. Did you see it? I do Maybe now. You can go down there. That looks like our rig right there. Nope. Is that a? It's a Thor though. It ain't ours then. No, <laughs> but it's a Tuscany. No, it's a Challenger. And off to the left, you see the RV Texas Y'all. They uh, have a YouTube channel. Check them out sometime if you have uh, interest. Where's that food truck at? It was uh, down the next. I don't know if you. I'll do it. Looks like they even have a bouncy house that they blow up at certain times. This is the pool area, which is all fenced in, and Lazy River that goes around. Yeah, they have a Lazy River now. And that's what's on the other side of this fence that you see here along the right. And there's little huts, like tiki huts there, where you can, you know, just sit and relax and watch other people do the lazy river uh -huh. I do not believe it is open now though no it, it I don't like it even has any water in it well yeah, no, it there does got water. yeah but it's not moving looks like okay that food truck is right up here and right here looks like it it might be a laundry restroom area right here and then here's the food truck right to the right I don't think you can you can see it but yeah there you go hey I thought you were getting out no do you want something no 
And food trucks right there, they are open. Looks like they have a pretty good menu. And one of my favorites, funnel cakes, yay. <laughs> <laughs> Now these are nice sites right here. They look pretty long and can accommodate the motorhomes and their vehicles. I don't know, Deb. It just yeah. seems like it's tight compared to where we're at. I don't know. I, I may be wrong, but it just seems that way to me. Mm -hmm. and it looks like they got another food truck there. Uh, lemonade and corn uh, dogs. Some of these things, the, the, their main time or their active time or their busiest time is in the summer. They cater to a lot of families. Um, so this is kind of the off season for uh, retirees and snowbirds. As you can see, there are some pretty good sized rigs in here. I like their, their electrical outlets. Yeah, they've got lights on every one of them, it looks like. Yeah. And they're numbered so you can see what site you're on. Which I haven't told you what any of the site numbers are. Because so. we don't have the map with us right now, yeah. but that's not a problem. Yeah, if you We'll do a, a, a synopsis at the end of this video and, uh, and tell when, people what we like and don't like that we what we saw of this and RV when, park. And when he goes to put it on YouTube will put a put it on there with the map and uh, current prices. Of course, that'll change. There's some people in here from Canada, even. Hey. Yeah. Okay, so that looks like about the drive-through tour of the Jamaica Beach RV Resort. I would have said hi to them if they'd been out. There's still a lot of families in here. And they do have propane. Yeah, see there's an outdoor pool here. And then there was an indoor pool back there too. Smaller though. Have a water wars balloon launch. Now these sites up here, they look a little bit more spaced out to me. I don't know. I don't think like, I'll drive down this way. I okay. didn't go that way. This, Let's see what they look like. This site right here with the Ventana is 101, so it's going to get to pretty large. So that's 101. 102, the solitude's 103. What's that? No, that? no. <laughs> All of a sudden. All it, of a sudden, it's, it there it is. It says 103. Yeah, the other one, though, said 9 something. Yeah. 104, 105, and then it's an open area. Oh, and they've got little swings there where you can look out over the water. The gulf is out that way. You can't see it because there's a little berm there, but. They, they say there it's there. Go. Yeah, it's there. But we will tell you, if you're on this first row, and the and the gulf is in front of you, there are gale force winds that come off of that gulf at any given time. And when it blows well, we had an incident where it blew so fiercely for so long that it rattled the screws out of our canopy. Slide topper. The slide topper threw the slide topper up on top of our rig, woke us up out of a sound sleep, but luckily it was just screws that came out, was able to put it back together, and there you go. But she kind of shows you what the wind can do. You and me were meant to be in the great outdoors.
Thanks for watching. Down below in the comments section, leave us a comment and tell us what you think of our adventure today. We'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed yet, tap that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for bumming around with us today. Safe travels, and may the good Lord take a liking to you.